Bullying is a repeated and targeted form of abuse. It involves someone trying to exert power over someone else. And this person often uses aggression, intimidation, and shaming to do so. In Canada, at least one in three adolescent youth report being bullied. Almost half of parents in Canada have said that their child has been the victim of bullying. That's a lot. It's not okay, and we have to come up with ways to reduce and stamp out bullying. Bullying can happen to anyone. It doesn't matter if you're big or small or of a specific ethnic background or speak in a certain way. Oftentimes, bullies themselves have been bullied by others, and they target others to try and feel better about themselves. There are different kinds of bullying. These include things like physical bullying, when someone causes harm to someone else's body. Verbal bullying involves name-calling or making threats towards others. Cyberbullying involves targeting others on online platforms, such as social media or texting. Social bullying is when someone spreads rumors or says things to purposely try and damage another person's reputation. Discriminatory bullying is when someone is specifically targeted based on their race, gender, sexual orientation, religion, or other identity-based feature. So why do some people bully others? Oftentimes, this is an expression of how frustrated they may feel with their own inability to get things to go their way. Or they may be experiencing their own difficulties, and the only way they've learned to cope or act out their frustrations is to target others. This isn't fair to others, and it's not a healthy way to deal with one's problems and inner frustrations. Sometimes bullies target others to get what they want. They might not have the skills to interact with others and engage them in a respectful way to get what they would like. Oftentimes, bullies feel a lack of self-confidence, and when they bully others, they can gain what is called social dominance, or a sense that they are at the top of a social chain and in charge of others. Bullies usually have strained relations with their parents and friends. They often don't develop supportive relationships in which they can turn to friends in times of need and rely on others to support them. Instead, their friendships may be based on fear and a sense of getting respect from others if they are mean to certain individuals. Bullying is bad for everyone. People who are bullied often experience trauma and can become fearful of others who are similar to the bully, even if those others don't intend to do them harm. People who are bullied are often afraid of being in a place alone with the bully, and they might even stop going to school. They often develop more anxiety symptoms like panic attacks and worries. Their self-esteem can struggle, and they often feel like they're not as good as others or worth the attention. Some victims of bullies can feel so unwell that they get physical symptoms like headaches and stomach aches. Sometimes their sleep patterns get disrupted, and some youth even have nightmares. Victims of bullying often do poorly in school or at work. They can lose interest in activities and feel increasingly sad and upset. They can become more isolated from others and lose their friends. Bullies don't tend to get the chance to learn better skills at communicating their needs and wants. They often don't do well in school or at work and don't learn skills that are vital to being successful. Without good coping skills, Bullies often use poor coping skills to deal with stress and can target their partner and become abusive towards their parents and even their own children when they grow up. Because bullies are often the targets of other people's aggression, unless they get help with dealing with their frustrations, things can keep getting worse. People who are bullied also need help to make sure that they are protected and don't experience more trauma because of the bullying. The best way to deal with bullies is to tell someone. This can be a trusted adult or even a counselor or therapist. It's really important to let someone know what's going on so that they can help you. When it comes to bullies, it's definitely not a good idea to get angry or lash out at them. This just perpetuates the cycle of bullying and no one ends up getting help or getting better. Don't ever think that being bullied is your fault or that you deserve it. When people start thinking this way, we become more concerned about the effects of bullying and what this is doing to that person's self-esteem. 
don't be afraid to tell someone else if you're being bullied. Bullying has no place anywhere. By learning to address it early on, you're less likely to have to deal with it and the repercussions of bullying later in life.